Hi and welcome to this video of my early thoughts of Spiral Splatter for the Xbox One. I'd been given this copy early to preview and due to its length and level of challenge I thought I'd make a quick video rather than do a review. So here it is, so it very much reminded me of that game with the wire where you can't touch the edges else it buzzes. The game controls with the analogue stick and A to boost. The game looks simple enough until you get further into it and then the difficulty fairly rises. As you can see it does contain checkpoints, while this does make it a bit easier it will affect your score as the timer continues. The game has over 100 levels and they are split into 11 different stages which need to be unlocked with the stars earned with, depending on how fast you've played each level. As you can see at first it seems like a simple navigation task it then becomes more puzzle focused, then they throw in moving parts as well and that's when it really gets very hard. So far I've played about an hour and I've tried all the puzzles up to stage 4, it's certainly tough. Navigating with the analogue stick is certainly much harder than it looks, thankfully it resets instantly when you die. I'd say so far if you're into hard puzzles that require timing and precision you should give it a go. You can pre-order now. It's out on the 13th of March 2018 and will cost £3.99 and $4.99 in the US. 